right, welcome to episode two on our chapter on photosynthesis. And in this episode, we're going to introduce the two main steps of photosynthesis. We're going to give you the details later, but I'm just laying a foundation for you to better understand those. We want to start with what's the basic chemical reaction for photosynthesis. And if you look at this graphic on the front of your screen, it doesn't look like it's very complicated. It takes a number of steps to do this very simple reaction that you see here. But this is vital to life on Earth. I mean, if we can't do this, life on Earth as we know it just doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's, uh, let's get down to some business. We're on color. Uh, yeah, we'll start with purple. We like purple. All right, you've got on this side of the, of the equation, you've got your reactants. And on this side over here, you have your products. Okay, we learned this in chapter two. Anything left of the arrow are reactants, and everything to the right of the arrow are the products. Now, your two reactants are two very common things found on this planet. You have carbon dioxide, uh, which is found in the atmosphere. In fact, I'm going to add some more to the atmosphere right now. There you go. I just helped out the plants. Uh, water, planets covered with water. Uh, you get it on our planet through uh, precipitation. You're going to get it from evaporation. Uh, living things are breathing it out, uh, so there's plenty of water around, unless you're in a desert. And these two are going to be combined together with, with light. Lots of times you see light written above the arrow, but on this graphic we have the sun. Now, the light is going to be captured by a molecule called chlorophyll. So often you're going to see the word chlorophyll. This is an H and a Y. I kind of screwed that up. Uh, chlorophyll is going to be written underneath the arrow. Now, with the help of chlorophyll capturing the light, and this light's going to grab the carbon dioxide in the, in the uh, water and kind of bang them together, you're going to get, uh, let's get back to our color here, you're going to get C6H12O6, which is the chemical formula for a sugar called glucose. It's one of those monosaccharides. And then you're going to get oxygen, which is a waste product which is good because we need to breathe that stuff in. So the oxygen that we breathe is made by plants and other photosynthetic organisms. All right. Now, a couple of other details I want to toss into you here. Let's use blue. Okay, carbon dioxide is used during a step called the Calvin cycle. So it's used during the Calvin cycle. There we go. Water is used during a step called the light-dependent reactions. And I'm going to write REACTS for short. That's for reactions. Glucose is made during the Calvin cycle. And then the waste product Oxygen, that's produced during the light-dependent reactions also. So as you can clearly see, there's two steps of photosynthesis, the light-dependent reactions and the Calvin cycle. And obviously the light is used during the light-dependent reactions. All right, so let's look at those two t steps in a, just a little bit more detail. So bye-bye to those and off to the next one. All right, so as we talked about before, in the previous uh, slide that you saw that the light-dependent reactions is step one and the light-independent reactions is step two. Now, I don't like to use the word independent a lot because it's easy to get these two confused. If you look, light-dependent and light-independent, they sound the same and they look the same. So I almost always use Calvin cycle in place of light-independent. But You'll, we'll use those words interchangeable as we go on. All right, so the light-dependent reactions release oxygen, and it's going to create two products that move on to the next step, and those would be ATP and high-energy electrons. So those products include those guys right there. Um, these are going to help power the Calvin cycle. All right, now the Calvin cycle is going to use these two products to take carbon dioxide and turn it into sugar. And remember that sugar is glucose, C6H12O6. All right, 
So if you take your pen and draw a little line up here, the top half of this graphic is the light dependent, and the bottom half of the graphic is the, oops, I want to, don't put that dash in there, get rid of that. That's the Calvin cycle. Okay, now these occur in the thylakoids, that's part of a chloroplast. The Calvin cycle occurs in the stroma, that's another part of the chloroplast. We're going to learn about that in a different uh, screencast. All right. A couple of other items I want to add in here on this one. Light energy comes in the form of photons. Call it all a packet of light energy, that's all it means. So it's a photon, it's light energy. All right. Now, during the light-dependent reactions, the water is broken apart using light, and that's going to produce oxygen. And remember, that's the waste product. And then we have this guy right in here. You see this NADPH? That's basically high-energy electrons. Now, these two guys are going to be used to supply the energy to take carbon dioxide and some more water and turn it into sugar, which, remember, which is glucose, which is C6, H12O6. And then when we use ATP, it turns into ADP. And when NADPH drops off its electrons, it's turned into NADP+. And they go back to the light-dependent reactions to start the whole cycle over. Because these two items are cycling, that's why we do not see them in that previous slide on the overall equation. Now, I want to revisit that previous slide for I forgot to tell you something. Okay. All chemical equations have to be balanced. And photosynthesis is quite devilish because you have 6, 6, 6. But you don't put a 6 in front of the sugar because the sugar is just too sweet to hang out with the devil. All right? It's kind of a corny way to remember it, but that's how I remember it for myself, and it's worked for all these years because I learned this back when I was in high school, way back in the mid-'80s when mullets were in style. All right, so remember, 666, no 6 in front of here because the sugar is just too sweet. Okay, that's going to end this uh, episode. Until the next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.